It's times like this when I want to just give up on the entire goddamn U.S. government. It is a broken system. It's an intentionally broken system. It has been bought to be broken. And we saw the most fucking perfect evidence of how inherently useless, counterproductive, damaging to America it is yesterday. After the Democratic filibuster led by Chris Murphy and a couple of other senators, 15 hour long filibuster. It took that much, a historic talking filibuster, to get the Republicans to even vote on the most basic gun control in reaction to the worst mass shooting in American history. And so we do that that epic struggle just to have a fucking vote, we have the votes, and one is struck down, two is struck down, three is struck down, four, America is struck down. Four gun control pieces of legislation, amendments to a spending bill, struck down, that would have done very little to change the actual country, except perhaps make it a little bit harder for maniacs to get guns with which they can kill dozens of Americans. And beyond that, maybe would have done just a little bit to give some morale to the people who still have hope that America isn't so fundamentally broken to its very core that we can actually rise up to the challenge of fixing problems that have been reiterated to us by psychopaths every week for the past decade plus. When we have a string of mass murders, mass shootings, acts of terrorism that the entire world shouldn't have suffered from over the past decade or so, that we can't make even the most basic structural changes to the way we continue to sell guns. It wouldn't even stop selling most of the guns. It would make it a little bit harder in some limited cases for people who we have good evidence are likely to use these guns to kill innocent Americans. It would have made minuscule, minor tiny little changes to that and we couldn't even get those fucking changes through this do nothing no nothing not caring ass senate they wanted to make it so that if it took more than three days for your background check to be done you can't then automatically get the gun now why would they have the crazy belief that we should do that well maybe because dylan roof used that loophole to shoot and kill people in a church in charleston Okay, maybe people who are on the terror watch list shouldn't be able to buy guns. Maybe assault weapons in particular. Why would we have that crazy idea? Oh, because 49 people were just killed because that's still legal in fucking crazy ass America. Now I understand, quick aside, there are very reasonable people who have very reasonable objections to the terror watch list. I have objections to the terror watch list. But this idea that simply because some people get mistakenly put on it, that then you can never use that information to stop people from committing mass murder, that's unnecessary mental uh, surrender there. That's a withdrawal. That's fatalism. It doesn't make any sense to me. Because when you come to me with your list of concerns about the, the lack of due process, the lack of an appeals process, the fact that it's difficult to get off of it, I say to you, you are 100% right, and in the bill that stops those people from getting guns, we're also going to add a layer of due process. We're going to add third parties who are going to review these cases. We're going to have an appeals process. We're going to do whatever funding it takes to allow people to be taken off of that list. And that is a very easy thing to add to a bill that stops those people from getting guns. I'm going to take your reasonable uh, concerns. I'm going to add them to my reasonable concerns. And for once, America is going to do something reasonable. 87% of Americans think that people on that list shouldn't get guns. It is literally impossible to get America to agree on anything to a higher degree than that. That is a historic level of agreement on both the right and the left. Republicans support it as much as Democrats. The only people, it seems, who don't support that are 10 to 20 trolls on Twitter, 50 plus senators on the Republican side, and a couple of the leaders of the NRA, not even their fucking membership actually agree with them on that. And on those other issues, expanded background checks, closing the Charleston loophole, all of that, universally high numbers in support of that as well. Now, I started this video by saying that these are the sorts of events that make me want to give up on this fucking broken ass government. I'm not going to actually do that because I've been around long enough to know that we can fail and we can fail and we can fail, but we are still good enough as a people, if not a government, to move past those failures and get something fucking done. And also because thankfully I have this channel and you guys to help me vent and to work through this because that is the failure 
the withdrawing, the fatalism, the giving up, that's exactly what these Republican senators and their, their owners in the NRA and the other big special interests want us to do. They want us to withdraw to say that if we lose today, that we don't care what happens tomorrow. But when I think to the past mass shootings, and when I think about how it seems like it could never be worse, that Charleston surely has to be as bad as it could be, that a guy could go in, sit down with people praying at a church, and then shoot them. When I think about San Bernardino, when I think about the school shootings, and then Pulse, you think it can't get any worse. But America, we're number one in one things, and it's fucking mass shootings like this. We can come up with something worse, and we need to do whatever it takes, no matter how many failures it takes, to make sure that that doesn't happen. And if it means having to knock every one of those goddamn Republican senators out of the Senate, if we need to go... We need to go from the fucking local level and root out every corrupt, rotten piece of this goddamn broken system, then that's what we're going to do. And if it's not done in 10 years or by the day I fucking die, if we get a step closer, it's fucking worth it because it's literally a goddamn life or death issue.